السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى إلى كافة الناس بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه حملته أمه وهنا على وهن وفصاله في عامين أن اشكر لي ولوالديك إلي المصير صدق الله مولانا العظيم সম্মানিত আল্লাহর ঘরের অতিথিগণ আজকের জুমার আলোচনায় আমি আপনাদের সকলকে স্বাগতম জানাচ্ছি মহান রবুল আলমিন আমাদেরকে তার ঘরে আসার সুযোগ করে দিয়েছেন তার দরবারে সেজদা করার জন্য আমাদেরকে তার ঘরে স্থান দিয়েছেন সেই জন্য মহামনিবের দরবারে আমরা সবাই শুক্রিয়া আদায় করি বলি আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ইট ইজ আওয়ার গ্রেট প্লেজার দ্যাট আল্লাহ সাহেন হুয়াল হ্যাজ ইনভাইটেড আস ইন হিজ হাউস and he granted us tawfiq to be in the masjid and he made us in good health and good condition of iman so for this favor of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are very grateful we express our shukr to him by saying the word of shukr alhamdulillah today i would like to start the khutbah with the story mentioned in sahih muslim imam muslim mentioned a story So I would like to first focus on the story then main teachings of the story we have to learn and we have to try to practice it in our life Kana Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu idha ata alayhi amdadu ahli al-Yaman It was in time of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu when some people some groups they used to come from Yemen to Medina. So Umar ibn al-Khattab, he used to ask, Afikum Wais ibn Amir? Do you have any, anyone among you whose name is Wais ibn Amir? He used to ask people, those people who used to come from Yemen, a country in Middle East. So people, when they come, used to come from Yemen, Umar ibn al-Khattab, he is Khalif, Amir al leader of all believers and ruler of the world in that time very powerful person he used to go to this tribe and people group delegation and he used to ask do you have anyone among you whose name is wise ibn amir yaman theke jokhon kono protinidhi dol madinate ashto হজরত অমর রদি আল্লাহ তালু তিনি একজন শাসক ছিলেন খলিফা ছিলেন আমিরুল মুমিনিন ছিলেন অত্যন্ত শক্তিশালী একজন ব্যক্তিত্ব তার অভ্যাস ছিল তিনি ওই গ্রুপগুলোর কাছে গিয়ে জিজ্ঞাসা করতেন তোমাদের মধ্যে এমন কোনো ব্যক্তি আছে যার নাম ওয়াইস ইবন আমির তিনি খোঁজ খবর রাখতেন সব সময় হাত্তা আতা আলা ওয়াইস রদি আল্লাহ আনহু অ্যান্ড ইট হ্যাপেন ইন ওয়ান ইয়ার হি মেট উইথ ওয়াইস ইবন আমির So he found the person whose name is Wais ibn Amir. Then he said, what is Wais ibn Amir? 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 Are you Wais ibn Amir? Umar radiallahu ta'ala said, what is Wais ibn Amir? He said, what is Wais ibn Amir? He said, yes, my name is Wais ibn Amir. He said, what is Wais ibn Amir? Qalamin Murad Summa Min Qarn Are you from Qarn Tribe of Murad Tribe of Murad So tribe Big tribe name is Murad And one of the branch of this tribe Is called Qarn 
Are you from tribe of Murad, which branch is Karan? Kalanam, yes. Amar Purijay Hulu. Ami Murad Gotre, Ektish Hakha Janam Karan Gotro, She Gotri, Ekjon, Odibash. Kale Fakena Bika Barasun. Then, second question he asked Did you suffer from Lekudema? And then you were cured from it. The Tumarki Charmurok Chilo. Likudama, the skin disease. Tumar ki charmuro manushe chamra shada hoye jay. E rok ta chilo. Abang tumi oi rok theke tumi mukti pecho. But for the space of a dirham, only from your skin left of the space of a dirham. Dirham like a coin, one pound coin. Je tumar pura tai bhalo hoye geshe, tobe one pound coin puri man jayga shudu bhalo hoye nai. Ita ki shottu tumar khetre. He said, so this person replied, yes, call an am, yes, it is true that I used to, I had suffered from lycodema, skin disease, and it was cured except the spot of a coin. Then Omar ibn al-Khattab, he had carried on his conversation, conversation and he said, Naam, call a laka walida. Do you have a mother? Tumarek John Ma Atsi? Call a name. Yes, I have my mother. Then, what was the, this is the curiosity of Omar ibn al Khattab about why is Ibn Amir, a person came from Yemen. What is the reason behind that? Thousand, thousand people every year used to come from many different parts of the world to visit Masjid al Nawawi. And they used to say salam to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Medina, even in time of Umar ibn al-Khattab. But he was not curious about anyone else, only from, for a person who came from Yemen, whose name is Wais ibn Amir. What was the reason? Ki karon? Pithibir bibinno prantor theke, onik manushi tu chute ashe Medina te. Bartumane jaman chute ashe, kiamat pujjanda ashe, otiti o hazad omore jugu irakum shato shato manush ashto. বিভিন্ন জায়গা থেকে মদিনার জিয়ারতে মসজিদে নববীতে নামাজ আদায়ের উদ্দেশ্যে কিন্তু অন্য কারো ব্যাপারে এত খোঁজ খবর তো হযরত ওমর নিতেন না ওয়াইস ইবনে আমিরের জন্য নেওয়ার এত বড় কারণটা কি সো হি সেড নাও ওমর ইবনে খাত্তাব রাদিয়াল্লাহু তাআলা রিপ্লাইড সামিতু রাসূলুল্লাহি সাল্লাল্লাহু আলাইহি ওয়াসাল্লাম ইয়াকুল আই হার্ড দ্য মেসেঞ্জার অফ আল্লাহ সেইং يأتي عليكم وايس بن عامر ما أمداد أهل اليمن من مراد ثم من قرن. A person will come whose name is Wais ibn Amir from Yemen. He is basically from Murad tribe and one of the branch of Murad tribe is Karan. كان به برس. He had suffered from lecodema. فبرا أبنه إلا موضع درهم. And he had been given cure from this disease except the spot of a dirham. Lahu walida, he had a mother. Huwa biha barrun. Huwa biha barrun. This is our main point of discussion. Huwa biha barrun. His speciality of this person is he had mother. Every one of us, every human, they have mother. Potita manushiri to maache. Maachara to dunia te kiyo ashena. Except Adam al Islam. He came in this world without father and mother. Nobody else came in this world without mother. And Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he came without father, but he had mother, whose name was Maryam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeatedly mentioned this name, glorious name. Only one lady mentioned in Quran, who is Maryam. And Allah revealed a special surah with the name of Maryam, Mary. Surah to Maryam. And it is long surah in the Quran. So Isa al Islam came in this world without father, but he had mother, whose name was Maryam. Nobody else except Adam al Islam who came in this world without mother. So every one of us we have mother. But what is the speciality of Wais ibn Amir? He had mother. But a speciality is Hua Biha Barun. This is the speciality. Although everyone of human, they have mother, but a speciality of Wais ibn 
Qaran, Wais ibn Amir al-Qarani, it was that he was very dutiful towards his mother. He was very dutiful towards his mother. And some narration said, although he was alive in time of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was alive in Medina, Wais ibn Amir, he did not come or he did not get this opportunity to come and visit Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and see directly face of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he was fulfilling his duty towards mother. Hazrat Wais al-Qarani, Wais ibn Amir al-Qarani, tini Allah nabi juge jibito chilen, yamani chilen. তিনি ইচ্ছা করলে আল্লাহ নবীর সাথে দেখা করার জন্য আসতে পারতেন কিন্তু তিনি আসতে পারেন নাই তার মায়ের সেবা করার কারণে তার মায়ের প্রতি সেবা করার কারণে তিনি এত দূরে আসতে পারেন নাই সো হি হি গেভ সার্ভিস টু মাদার হি ওয়াজ ভেরি ডিউটিফুল টু ওয়ার্স মাদার এন্ড দেন হি লস দিস অপরচুনিটি টু সি প্রফেসর সাম ডাইরেক্টলি এজ উই নো দ্যাটস ইফ সামবডি উইথ ইমান স প্রফেসর সাল্লাল্লাহু আলাইহি সাল্লাম ডাইরেক্টলি হি ইজ কলড সাহাবা he is called sahaba and those who believe prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after his death and they were not able to see him or meet him they are called tabi'in they are not sahaba sahaba ka ki bola hoy allah er nabi jibito obosthay allah er nabi ke jini iman er sathe dekhechen ebong iman obosthay oi lok mara geche sei byakti ke bola hoy sahaba so definition of sahaba a special status of sahaba in islam all sahaba they are like a star on the sky and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned allah allah fi ashabi allah allah fi ashabi fear allah fear allah about my sahaba don't blame them they are selected people by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are people chosen by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah tadike nirbachito korechen amar shonge howar jonno tara sahaba so status of sahaba in islam is very high but prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam praised this person whose name is wais ibn amir but he did not meet prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what was the reason because he was dutiful towards his mother he gave service to mother so he missed this opportunity to be sahaba although he is the best tabi'in next generation of sahaba is called tabi'in his best person best pious person prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam praised him umar radhiyallahu ta'ala he used to find him out from the delegation of yemen although he is not sahaba why he lost this opportunity because he was very dutiful towards his mother then prophet sallallahu umar ibn al khattab carried on narration from prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said that he had mother this wise ibn amir who will come in medina he had mother he is very dutiful towards his mother law aqsama ala allah la abarra his position towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his position in sight of allah is in that level whatever he ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah must accept his supplication why is kurunir marjada eto beshi allah er kache je tini jeta allah er kache chaben seta allah kabul korte baddho la waqsama ala allah if he ask with the oath and qasam to allah oh allah do this allah has to do it the meaning Allah has no obligation but it is a explanation or it is a narration how was his position in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah ke to kyo korte kaaj korte baddho korte pare na Allah jeno farz wajib kichu nei baddho to amra jeto Allah r upore kono supreme power nei kaje Allah karo kache baddho noy jawabdehi noy kintu tar poreo tar marjada bujhanor jene bolche Allah r sathe tar bhalobashar somporko eto bhalobashar manush jodi kichu chaye seta reject kora jay na Wais Qarani was so beloved person to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he asks something, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not reject his supplication, invocation. It was his status and position in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he said, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, فَإِنِ اسْتَتَعْتَ أَنْ يَسْتَغْفِرَ لَكَ فَفَعَلْ O Umar ibn al-Khattab, if we have chance to ask him, look, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recommended to Umar, O oh, Amr, if you had chance to talk to him, ask him to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness for you. Hey Omar, you are the only one who is 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 the only one. Although Omar is Sahaba, his position is higher. But in other way, 
Wais al Qarani or Wais ibn Amir al Muradi al Qarani, he was so powerful in terms of love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet said, O oh, Amr, if you have chance to meet him, say to ask forgiveness for you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Faqala Allahu Amr, this is the narration of Umar to Wais al Qarani. Faqala Allahu Amr, Aina Turib. Then Umar ibn al Khattab said, Please ask forgiveness for me to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Prophet said, Advise me. So he asked forgiveness for Umar. Then he said, Aina Turidu. After Medina, after visiting Medina, where, where is your destination to go? Medina Pore, Apti Kutha Jete Chan. And he said, Kala Al Kufa, I will go to Kufa in Iraq. I will go to Kufa in Iraq. Kala Ala Aktubulaka Ila Amiliha. I can write for you to the governor of Iraq, Kufa. Then he will receive you and honor you. আপনি যেহেতু কুফাতে যাবেন আমাদের সরকারি কর্মকর্তা আছে গভর্নর আছে কুফার তার কাছে আমি চিঠি পাঠিয়ে দেব তাহলে সে আপনাকে রিসিভ করবে সম্মান করবে এবং আপনাকে সহযোগিতা করবে আই উইল রাইট টু গভর্নর অফ ইরাক কুফা হি উইল হেল্প ইউ এন্ড হি উইল গিভ ইউ রিসেপশন এন্ড হোয়াট এভার ইউ নিড হি উইল হেল্প ইউ কল ফি গবরাই বাট হি সেট নো আই উড লাইক টু বি এ ভেরি অর্ডিনারি পারসন Nobody will dress me out. I would like to be a very normal, the person who has no fame. Nobody is walking behind him. I would like to be among them. I mean, I would like to be a very normal, 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 যে আপনি গভর্নরের কাছে লেখে দেবেন আমাকে সে রিসিভ করবে সরকারিভাবে মর্যাদা দিয়ে আমাকে ভিআইপি মর্যাদা দেয়া হবে সেটা আমি চাই না আই ডোন্ট লাইক টু বি ভেরি স্পেশাল পার্সন ভিআইপি দেন গভর্নর উইল কাম এন্ড রিসিভ মি এন্ড অনার মি এন্ড হেল্প মি আই ডোন্ট ওয়ান্ট টু বি আই উড লাইক টু বি ভেরি অর্ডিনারি পার্সন দিস ইজ দ্য স্টোরি অফ ওয়াইস আল কারানি আই এম আই নেট দিস হাদিদ ফ্রম সাহি মুসলিম দ্য পারপাস অফ দ্যাট ইজ ওয়াইস আল কারানি ওয়ান অফ দ্য ভেরি স্পেশালিটি অফ দ্যাট he was very very ordinary person in terms that he was not very he did not uh, live as a very luxurious life he was very normal person <coughs> but his status in sight of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was very high why one of the reason behind it that he was very dutiful towards his mother and this is the story sometime the West, in the Western society, when we live, we become like them in terms that only we honor our parents, our mother, in one day in a year. One day in a year, which is Mothering Sunday coming, 15 March. And businessmen are very happy. They will have lots of booking. It is another matter. But some of us, we also go to mother only on the day. We send a card, a special new generation, Those who are brought up in this society, they think, oh, our duty towards mother will be on Sunday, Mothering Sunday. But Wais al Qarani, who got this position to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to Hadith of Muslim, even Sahaba Umar ibn al Khattab, Khalif, he honored him. And he said, Ask forgiveness for me to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do a stighfar for me. Why this stage that he achieved? Because he was very dutiful towards his mother. In other way, if we look at Isa alayhi salam, I said, nobody sent in this world without mother except Adam. Even, um, even Isa alayhi salam, al-Masih, Ibn Maryam, he was son of Maryam alayhi salam. He came in this world through mom, Maryam, Mary. So when Isa alayhi salam, he was very child, baby, And everyone is blaming Maryam. So Maryam said, فَأَشَارَةِ لَيْ He indicate, he point towards baby. If you have any question regarding this baby, ask him. Because I am fasting person and according to law of this scripture, I can't talk today. So if you have any question, ask this baby. So baby sat down as we know the very famous story of Isa al-Islam and miracle of Isa al-Islam. 
and he sat down. He said, Inni Abdullah, indeed, I am servant of Allah. I am not the bad person. I am very holy. And I am servant of Allah. And then he continued his introduction and he said, Wabarram bi walidati. Wabarram bi walidati. One of the very important mission of my life is to be dutiful, kind, and merciful towards my mother. It was the word of Isa al-Islam. Although Isa al-Islam was the, in the highest state of messenger. Ulul azmi min rusul Very important messenger in Quran. But he said, my duty is I should be very kind, merciful, dutiful towards mother. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about father and mother both in Quran in many surahs. Surah Isra, Allah said, وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave decree that don't worship except Allah immediately after duty towards Allah is وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا Be kindful, merciful, dutiful towards your parents, father and mother. <coughs> but especially Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about mother. Surah Luqman, Surah Ahqaf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ His mother was bore him in hardship after hardship. In the pregnancy, in the delivery, in the uh, upbringing. So you should be very dutiful towards mother. And you have to be grateful to me, to Allah, as well as you should be grateful to parents, especially mother. In Surah Ahqaf, Allah says, حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ كُرْهًا وَوَدَعَتْهُ كُرْهًا With hardship and difficulty, your mother bore the pregnancy as well as delivery. And وَفِصَالُهُ ثَلَاثُونَ شَهْرًا And he also gave you breastfeeding nearly 30 months with pregnancy. So this, the narration of Quran and description of Quran about mother, importance of mother. We should be very dutiful. So, because we are a part of our mother, nearly one year, nine months, we wear every one of us as a part of the body of mother. One body, two human, mother and son, mother and daughter, in the womb. So, we are part of our mother. Still, in this world, if we ask ourselves, who is most beloved or love me more? So, answer will be mother. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his messenger, it is our duty, we should be very loving, merciful and kind towards mother. But sometime, out of influence or without understanding, sometime we don't fulfill the duty towards mother. Because of influence of friends, we, we become disobedient to mother. We say oof to mother. We are reading the Quran, still we are misbehaving towards mother when they are alive. And after married, when wife became part of our life, sometime out of influence of a father, we ignore the duty towards mother. The very crucial moment for life, especially for men, when they married. So there are two parts, two women. One is my mother, another side, part of my life is wife. So how I should balance between two, mother and wife? This is very crucial. Sometime people... Many men, they fail to balance between two duties. Either they, they become more towards mother, they become unjust towards wife, or they become very dutiful to wife or loving to wife, and they ignore duty to mother. It is a very dangerous moment. If you sleep, so you are, you are destroying your life. Ma abong istrin modde shamata bajai rakha, daid tor khetre onek purushra shekhane pisle jai. Abong ee pisol khawar karoni kindu tara onek dure chole jai. So I would like to conclude the discussion with the story. In time of Prophet Sallallahu Prophet Sallallahu came to visit a ill person and asked him, he was nearly to die, and asked him, say, La ilaha illallah, because, before, because the person who said, La ilaha illallah, ashadu wa la ilaha illallah, and died, according to Hadith of Abu Dawud, he will go to Jannah. So Prophet Sallallahu said, say, La ilaha illallah. He was very true practicing person, but he was unable to utter this kalima. Then Prophet said, I'm surprised. Why? This person is pious, practicing. Why he uh, is not able to utter the kalima? La ilaha illallah. He asked, is your mom alive? He said, yes. And Prophet Islam called her to come and asked, are you happy with your son? 
Are you happy with your son? She said, no. I did for him lots of sacrifice in my life, but after he married, he forgot me. He ignored my duty, duty towards me. So I'm very angry on him. On him. Professor Aisam said, forgive him, please. I don't, I, I don't forgive him. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi find the another technique to find the forgiveness from this mother. And he said, oh people, bring for me some wood, dry wood. I will burn this person. I will burn him, the, him in a fire. Because if he die in this condition, he will go to Jahannam. So it will be better that he will be burned before his death. And people seriously, they, they were gathering the wood, dry wood, to set fire and to burn this person. So this mom, look the love of mom, original love of mom. This mom said, oh, messenger of Allah, are you really will burn my son in this fire? Yes. Because he will go to Jahannam. It will be better if we burn before that. May Allah will forgive him before. So this mom say, Oh, Messenger of Allah, be witness that I forgive my son. Amar shamne amar bachcha jolbe ita tamhi kor bordas kor do. Jato yon nai korukna ke no. Apna ke shakhi reke bolche ami ta ke khama kore dilam. So Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after doing that, this person immediately automatically start reciting La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah then died. It is a true story. So if we are not able to balance between mother and wife, or we are not dutiful towards mother, so then there will be danger waiting for us. Even in the time of death, maybe we will not able to utter the kalima. That's why we should be very, very cautious, vigilant about this point. It is a very point. Maya shati kuno beadubi hoye gile maya poti dudi dait to palan na kore dunia tei Allah shasti de bang abong apuman korbe. Ekhane kuno sad nai. So we should be very careful about that. So finally, that Muslim, although in 1908 the mothering Sunday start in many part from America and in many other culture there is a mother mothering day, Mother's Day. But in Islam, there is no Mother's Day because every day we should be very dutiful towards our mother. So we should not limit it with a card, with a gift, with a dinner party or lunch party only in Mothering Day, especially for a young generation, new generation. We'd like to emphasize on this point. And secondly, if our mom is happy on us, Allah will be happy. If our mother is not happy, our father is not happy, Allah will not be happy. Although sometimes my mother or my father or your mother or father, they are not that much educated. But you are educated, you got degrees, but still they are your parents. You should be dutiful towards them. Jatoi ami shikito hoy, jatoi boro hoy, amon ki novi rosul hoy gelo, amar ma amar ma, tar mor joda onik upore. My janna is under feet of my mother. So we should remember this point. This is, this is a chance to remind myself and all others. আমাদের যাদের মা জীবিত আছে এখনো সুযোগ আমাদের আছে বাবা যাদের জীবিত আছে এখনো জান্নাত কামাই নেওয়ার সুযোগ আছে এই সুযোগকে কোনো জন আমরা মিস না করি অনেক সময় আমাদের জীবনের বাস্তবতার কারণে মা বাবা আছে কিন্তু আমরা পাশে থাকতে পারি না অনেক সময় এটা আমাদের জন্য দুর্ভাগ্য যে আমরা পারি না জীবনের বাস্তবতা আমাদেরকে দূরে আনে কিন্তু তারপরে আমাদের কানেকশন এবং ভালোবাসার কোনো ঘাটতি যেন না থাকে Sometimes for the reality of life, they are in one country. We are far away for them, from them. Still, we, we should be connected heart to heart. Although geographically we are far away, but our heart should be very close to them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tafrik for that. Allahumma ameen.